Hello everyone, welcome back. I've got a request from the Squirrel Hunter channel to do a kind of a how-to on how to use a squirrel call. Now I'm not really good with these, I do like to make them, but a lot of places I hunt you don't really need them. There's a lot of squirrels and they're pretty tame so not really need to call them. But I was going to go over one of these real quick and show you what to do with them. Uh, he said that he had picked his up and just kind of pecked on it a couple of times. Which sort of sounds like a squirrel, but not really. What you really want to do with one of these is use your hand to form a sound chamber. Hold your call like this, close your hand around it, and by opening and closing your hand, you can get a lot of different tones out of this that you can't if you just go like that. And all I'm doing is barely, I'll either close my hand, the tighter I close my hand, the smaller the chamber gets, and the less air that can move out, creates back pressure, changes the tone. As I open my hand up, the pitch rises, sounds a little more excited, things like that. Real quick, I'll show you what's in one of these. Now, this one's actually made incorrectly so I can take it apart easily and show people what's inside. But what we have here is a reed set right here. And when you get these, this little piece right here is laying flat against this other piece. And I always grab it and give it a little bit of a bend outward so that it sounds better. You have a plastic bushing in here, well, rubber bushing in here that this sets into. So you have the bushing that pushes into your barrel, the reed set that pushes into the bushing, the barrel that pushes into the bellows, and that's a squirrel call. So hope that helps you out and get one of these and give it a try and see if it helps get you some more squirrels.